sticking with it. You know, it's not the result tonight that we wanted. Certainly not the result we wanted uh, the, other, the other night at home. But uh, just understanding the value of these opportunities. Uh, so I didn't think it was for the lack of effort. I think that's the biggest piece. You know, a lot of times it's, it's easy to, you know, you, you miss the mark or you know you're out uh, of the playoffs. And guys just, you know, just kind of pack it in and just get through it. I, I thought we still tried to get something out of it. And that's extremely important for all of our guys, but in particular, you know, your young core. So you can establish that precedent. And, you know, it's it's a good sign to see that they understand the value of that and try to take advantage of it. What did you see from so many the young guys today? I mean, there, there's there's some mistakes. You know, some of it is is in the details. Uh, give Charlotte credit; they you know. They amped it up. It came in, had a big spurt. I think scored 12 in a row. And then Rogier, he's a heck of an offensive weapon. Uh, fourth quarter, uh, really got going. So that, that that allowed them to create the separation they needed to put us away. But uh, I thought we'd continue to fight and just try to compete, stay in the game. Got to make a few shots. Uh, the zone against the young young guys was a bit troublesome, but um, it's good for them. It's good to see and see how they react. And, just another layer of, of things that we have to continue to improve upon. This season? Yeah. Oh, I think he had an incredible season. Um, I know it was you know truncated a little bit with uh, you know late late start, but to see uh, him pick things up, uh, you know, came in once he was ready to go, he hit the ground running. Uh, his conditioning was great. Uh, his body was great. So, um, you know, he was doing a lot of work behind the scenes. Uh, obviously, he expanded his game by, by adding the three, uh, which is another layer. I think that's going to be good for him. Uh, and just in the last probably month, month and a half, to see him play with a level of confidence, uh, to, to see him play with that point five mentality where he's you know making quick decisions, uh, he's been playing aggressively. I think is a really good sign to see. So I think it's. Uh, it's positive, but also, I, mean, I think he's had a good experience. So I look forward to, uh, you know, having him all year next year and, and really moving forward. Case. Hey, Wes. Um, speaking of the young guys, what did you see specifically from Vernon Carey today? Well, I mean, it's, you know, he's got a level of physicality, um, you know, which, you know, he's a big body, but he knows how to use it, carve out space. It's tough, you know, he hasn't gotten a ton of reps because he's been out. Uh, so his familiarity with some of the offense is a, obviously an issue. But beyond that, you know, he, he's going to compete, play hard, he's going to use his body. Uh, I think he's finished as well around the rim in traffic. Uh, I think he can be a substantial rebounder for us as well. Uh, I think once he gets more comfortable on the defensive end and able to quarterback the defense, I think he'll have a, a presence in the paint. Zach. Hey, coach. I'm um, just wondering, what did you think of Rui's level of aggression, especially the last two games, leading the team in field goal attempts? I like it. I mean, it's it's not necessarily you know hunting shots. Um, he had to take a few to bail us out, short clock situations. Um, but I think he's just reading, you know, how the defense is guarding him, what's available, um, and to that point, those quick decisions. If you don't like it, get off of it, uh, shoot it or drive it, create something for someone else. Um, I think that's an important piece to kind of keep that mindset. You know, as we continue to share the ball, uh, play second and third side, it's been really good for us. Thank you. Neil. Hey, Coach, I want to clarify something you said pregame that, you know, you've already kind of had a lot of exit meetings already. I guess, does that include the players themselves? And I guess what has been some of the feedback that you've gotten from, you know, Brad or Kuz? Um, well, I haven't met yet with everybody, um, but uh, I'd probably say 80% of the team um, individually. So, you know, a lot that was said, uh, I'll keep to ourselves. I thought it was overwhelmingly positive, so I'll give you that. Um, but, you know, like I said, pregame, I think it's important to get their feedback, you know, uh, to get a sense of where they are, or, you know, how the season went for them individually. 
um, our style of play, you know, the way I teach and communicate, all those things, you know, extremely important. Uh, it's good things for me to get feedback so I can, you know, build upon my my own season and kind of come back and, and reevaluate how we do things. But uh, I'm not going to get into the details of what's discussed or, you know, the feedback uh, that they gave. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels back. Thank you. Last question to Shai. Uh, Coach, Denny Avdia is supposed to have a big summer ahead of him, especially with the Israeli national team. Where would you like to see him improve his game over the summer? Well, I think, you know, some of it is just, you know, feeling how defenders are guarding him. Um, he, he's obviously a skilled playmaker. Uh, you know, it's a little thing, but improving his court vision, making plays with his left hand, attacking and you know, um, scoring with his left hand, his finishing. You know, something that we, we've we talked about at length this season has to improve. Uh, but I like where he is, you know, as far as his aggression level. Um, I think he's got a lot of confidence right now, confidence in his shot. Um, and, and he's looked at, you know, as, as a playmaker for this group. So I hope to see that carry over. Uh, use that this summer and expand it a little bit. You obviously have a, a different season, but how do you feel like, I guess, how much do you feel like you achieved kind of in the, in the short time you were here? Uh, you know what? Yeah. Um, you know, I started to join the team a little bit late. And uh, I think uh, overall, I think uh, personally, like, you know, um, it was a pretty good season for me. And the team, like, I really appreciate the coaches, the staff, uh, front office, teammates, uh, trainers, everybody for, uh, you know, everything. And we, uh, we finished this season, you know, we didn't want. We, we finished the season that we didn't want, like, you know, um, we want, like, we want to, you know, make it a little bit better, but, you know, we finished the season great, too, so, um, yeah, it was good. Okay. What's your top priority this off season in terms of improvement? Uh, take care of my body, um, for sure. It's going to be, it's almost like the first time I have myself, so I got to get my body right all the time, and yeah, so just go from there. Where are you bringing stuff you have to say? I know you're sometimes in LA, what do you mean? I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I think, I don't know, I'll be in the DC. Um, I mean, I don't know. I used to go to the airport, like, I don't know. So, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Vacation uh, Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I'll think about it, yeah. I, I, haven't, I haven't planned anything yet, so, yeah, we'll see. What's your biggest area of growth that you think for these 40-plus games? Uh, just, like, um, just like the feeling on basketball, like, you know, the NBA, like, this is my third year, and uh, I, I improved a lot of uh, improved threes uh, this year. And it was kind of, uh, for me, it's like a, it was easier for me to um, – kind of adjust, like have a good chemistry, better chemistry with the team. So, yeah, I think those are stuff like, I think uh, how to improve. Chase? Hey, Rui, uh, what would you like to add to your offensive game this summer? Um, I mean, I'm just going to keep walking what I've, doing, what I've been doing, you know, three points. I mean, range game. Um, uh, yeah, ball handling, ball handling, and yeah, just those kind of stuff. The the stuff that I've been working on. It, yeah. And obviously, this season um, didn't go as you guys hoped it would as a team. Um, was there anything that stood out as particularly surprising that maybe you thought you guys would be better at? Um, you know, given the players that you have on the roster. Oh. Um, I feel like this past like past two weeks we kind of um, got together and then we had a better chemistry and then we start winning. Um, so I think for us like you know we just need to like this off season we need to have a little more time like together and have a chemistry good chemistry so we can come back stronger next season. And what uh, were your impressions of uh, playing this season under Wes Unsell Jr. Oh, it was great, you know. Um, I just, 
you know, at the beginning, of course, you know, I, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle, but, you know, I got used to it, you know, we, we like, we both not each other. And, uh, for me, yeah, it was, I think it was good. Yeah. We'll take one last English question from Neil, and then we'll switch over to Zach to moderate Japanese. Hey, Rui. Um, Wes mentioned that, you know, he's already started to have kind of exit interviews with players, I guess. How helpful is it to you that he's kind of very willing to be, okay, you know, I'd love your feedback. I'd like to improve as well. How helpful is that to you guys as players? Uh, it's very helpful, you know. Um, we talk about, me and him and talked about a lot of defense, uh, defense side, you know. I got almost uh, got in, like, you know, uh, the shooters and stuff, you know, just chasing and, like, you know, uh, all, like, um, off the ball, like, you know, I just need some more uh, inspiration. And, then, you know, we just got, like, you know, but I think we just talk about, you know, we have to watch a lot of film and stuff. That's what I think it's going to help for next year. I'm curious for you, um, Wes mentioned, you know, you guys have already started to have exit interviews, things like that. He's very much wanting feedback from you guys so that, you know, he can improve. Um, what is that process like for you? Yeah, it's kind of a chance to, um, you know, maybe give your opinion on things that, um, you know, we didn't have a chance to touch on during the season. You know, things move so fast in the NBA. Um, it gives guys a chance to kind of uh, give coach feedback and you know he wants to hear it uh, he mentioned to me that you know he and I are kind of in a similar boat because we're both rookies you know at our jobs this year so he's willing to take feedback from all of us and um, hear what each of us has to say and uh, you know it's a good chance to kind of pick his brain for us on where he thinks that we can be successful you know next year thanks Corey have a good summer thank you Chase Corey, your first NBA season is in the books. Now that it's over, uh, just how do you encapsulate your first year? Yeah, um, I was just speaking to some people outside. Um, it's hard to see the progress that you make when you're in it. Um, things happen, you know, game after game, get kind of blur, blur together and all the work that you do off the court blur together. But now that you're done, you can fully look back and appreciate the kind of progress you made. And I'm, you know, proud to say that you know, I made some huge strides this year that I'm really proud of. And, um, you know, not everything went my way this year, but, uh, you know, I overcame struggles and pushed myself and i um, super happy with the year that I put together and can't wait to capitalize on it and uh, make, it, uh, make it better next year. Obviously, this season didn't go as, as well as you guys hoped overall. Um, was there anything that was particularly surprising that you guys struggled at, given the personnel you have that, you know, maybe you thought you guys would be better at? Yeah. Um, I think we had some periods of time where we were really struggling from behind the arc, and I was a part of that. Um, you know, as, as a guy who shoots the ball predominantly, like, for his job, like, I, I struggled with that. And um, the challenge was just to not get frustrated. And we had, you know, ebbs and flows, just like any other team did, but – um, I was kind of surprised, you know, as a group, including myself, uh, just we weren't, you know, all that consistent from behind the arc, and we definitely should have been. Cool. Have a good off season. Thanks, guys. Christos. Hey, Corey. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what was speaking about your game and the development that you showed from the beginning until now? What was the biggest leap from during this uh, rookie season for you? Yeah, I think it was definitely uh, putting the ball on the ground, uh, playing off the dribble. Um, you saw me cutting a little bit today, and when guys run me off the line, I'm able to put the ball on the deck and uh, finish the rim, things like that. So um, I think the whole league knew I was a shooter uh, coming into the season, but being able to round myself out and uh, you know play inside the line was definitely my biggest biggest progress. And um, listen, like the next four or five months, I'm going to work as hard as anybody and um, really, really go my game. And what was the biggest lesson for you as a rookie and how you would like to use that lesson for the off season and the next season? Yeah, really how long the season is. Um, there were multiple times this year where, you know, behind the scenes, I thought the world was going to end just because of the way we were playing or how I was playing. And uh, it was crisis mode. 
but uh, you have to step back and see the big picture and realize how long the season is, uh, how many games you play, and how many opportunities opportunities you have to fix problems. Um, so, yeah, just kind of making sure I stay level-headed and a little bit more calm throughout the entire season next year. Thank you very much. Have a great have a great summer. Thank you. Back. Actually, my question was just answered, so I'm good. Thanks, Corey. Have a good summer. Yep. Then the last question will go to Yaron. Um, Corey, uh, talk a little bit about uh, what you saw from Denny, uh, uh, his progress in the past maybe six weeks. Yeah, he's been he's been playing really well the last six weeks, um, making making really good decisions with the ball in his hand, shooting it really well from behind the arc. Um, he's kind of rounding into the player that I think we all know he can be. Um, really happy to see him play with more confidence, um, get out of his own head a little bit, and just kind of play with instincts it's when he's at his best. So. Um, you know, the sky's the limit for Denny, and I'm really happy with the. I think he would be, she should be happy too with the last, you know, six weeks he put together.